Scott, two for the price of one today. Shall we start with the first game, Ballot Town? You started with a very strong lineup. Is that an indication of where you intend to go when the season kicks off proper? Um, we, it's just one where we needed to get more more minutes, 90 minutes. The players haven't completed 90 minutes yet, so today it was ideal that we had two games and um, you know the, the squad have played the majority of the squad have played 90 minutes for the first time. And you're pleased with the performance against Bella? Yeah, really good. Um, if you look at the, the penalty, it's a little bit of a, a mix-up between H and, and Blaine and. You know, like Blaine said, in in, uh, in how many seasons have, have there been a mix-up and like that? You know, very few. It's one of them ones that it is a blip, but it sometimes catches us out that we have a lot of possession, and then uh, the opposition will get a chance, or in that instance, a penalty. So, yeah, it's, it's pre-season, and we're still we're still getting to grips with with um, fitness-wise and, and, and the stuff that we're going to be looking at tactically. So, yeah, you forgive them that one because uh, obviously they, they had a disliked goal but they didn't really have um, a lot more chances than that throughout the game so I was I was pleased with the performance yeah. and a game just following that as well against Ellesmere Rangers that was a mix of seasoned professionals and youngsters coming through yeah it was it's good to get some of the first year scholars it's it's good for you know the likes of Sis, Greg and Billy that got um, you know minutes there We've got Adam, we've got um, Young Bradders, we've got Lewis Reese, so the whole squad have been uh, utilised today. And when I talked about the first game or mentioned the first game, it was a very strong starting lineup and uh, substitutes as well. Yeah. But when you look at that second uh, team that faced Ellesmere Rangers, that was also pretty impressive. It shows the depth yeah. that you've got. Yeah, and like, you know, you've got, I missed out Ben, actually, Ben Clark, you've got um, uh, Young David, who just signed for us. You know, all these boys need, need minutes and if they're thrown together in a team that they've never played together before and so be it it's, it's one where you know everybody needs to play so for us on a Saturday to get two games back to back is, is perfect preparation and as we look towards the start of the season proper do you have a, a, a starting lineup in mind at this moment in time or the places up for grabs yeah there's, there's place up for grabs not like last season or season before where certain roles are picked there's there's too many good players to to say that that's my team now it's we've got um, competition every single position on the pitch you know we really have if, if a centre-back's injured we've got cover of, of excellent quality um, forward lines we've got we've got six for three central midfield we've got six for three everywhere we've got um, players who are high quality and that can come and do a job so it's it's, it's my um, my job it's a hard job to, to go and pick the team and make sure that that team is the right one on the on the night next Thursday week Thursday and although we can't mention results from the pre-season campaign so far, nevertheless, you you must be impressed with the way that the games have turned out. Yeah, it's not all about um, results. Obviously, pre-season they count for nothing. You could you could win five in a row, not concede any, and then you go into Europe and you lose. So we're you know we're, we're experienced in that now. We, we usually play five or six friendlies, um, mixed results, mixed teams that you have to because of um, the size of the squad. So. I'll know better this week. We've got two games this week. Um, how far away we are for, for that European game. It's, it's encouraging though from, from training and, um, and these friendlies of how we've been playing, um, how the players are, are um, you know, coping and using the tactics that we're using, um, listening to us. Obviously, in, in little spells, we're giving them information and they're really taking it on board. So I, I'm, I'm happy where we are at the moment. 